Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. We are jumping in again and we're playing as the modular once again. Um, and we're just going to jump in and have a good little time. See what sort of run we get going on. We've got all the new different weaponry versions unlocked now. So we could try something new. I can't remember what we tried last time. I think it was charge shot we did last time. So we'll try something new this time. Also, if you didn't see, uh, Hutz actually did a showcase of this character off of the back of my recommendation. Because... I needed more people to see this amazing character. And yeah, he made a video on it. If you haven't seen that, I'd definitely go and check it out. It's pretty cool. I'm really hoping he does a second video to cover the past, because I think the past is the main impressive thing about this character. Everything else is pretty impressive, but the past is is really insane. Uh, right. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Modular cannot do handstands, as they only have one hand. <laughs> Can't balance well on it. That's pretty funny. Um, so we've got some unlocked ones here as well, which I'm not quite sure. Um, okay. As modular, wait, what? Reach and beat bullet hell, but one of them's got a space and the other doesn't. <laughs> Intriguing. Anyways, let's see what we got going on here. So we've got pea shooter, um, whatever, scatter cannon, basically shotgun, the quad buster, four shot burst gun, kind of interesting. Charge blaster is what we went for last time. The precision rifle, uh, pretty good for piercing. Charge up, um, charges up to change accuracy, okay. And then we've also got the light lance, um, charge up to parry projectiles. I think I'm gonna go for the quad buster, uh, quad burster, sorry, uh, this time around. And see how that goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can do with this guy. I'm definitely ready to play some lovely little Gungeon. It's been a little bit since I've uh, recorded Gungeon, because the last two episodes I released, I backlogged. I had, like, two recordings in a row, so I actually haven't played Gungeon in, like, two weeks. It's been a bit of time. Oh, I forget how goddamn long this guy's reload is. It's painful. Uh, it's, it's understandable, but it's painful. Um, leaves a bit to be desired, but there's upgrades that can remedy that. Definitely feeling some frame rate issues right now, though. I don't know what that's about. Um, I've been feeling that in in, Gun uh, in Isaac as well, though, recently. I don't know if I've maybe messed up a PC setting or something. Um, like, I've done something to my PC to cause, like, all my games to lag more. But, um, yeah, like, both Isaac and Gungeon seem to not be running as well as they used to, which is kind of weird. Hoping it just smooths itself out over the course of the, uh, over the course of the run, but we'll see. Don't know if I'm going to end up doing the past again. The past is, like... Kind of, it's a really cool thing, but it's kind of niche for this character because it's so long. Um, so it, basically, it depends on how quick we get through the rest of the game, really. To uh, how enthused I am about going for that, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this character's still a lot of fun. We've basically got a lot of uh, things to try as this guy because uh, we've got to try out all the different gun types uh, that we've got available here. Yeah, the frame rate is just goddamn awful. One minute. Let's see if I've got anything open programs wise that could be causing that. I don't think I do. I guess I could shut down Discord, but I don't see why that would matter. Weird. Maybe I'll reboot my PC after this and see if that helps, but not entirely sure what's going on with that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see you, I see you. Good, good, good. Yeah, we do have to sort of pre-prepare our reloads, make sure we're sort of planning ahead because they are very long. Bizarre, you missed completely. Yeah, the first upgrade I'm going to take is a reload-based one, if I can, uh, if it's available to me. Obviously, we don't really get to choose what upgrades get offered to us, but that was what I'd like to see. That's what I'd like to see. Piercing would also be pretty good with this setup. I mean, with it being the quad burst, I think piercing would go a long way. I still haven't seen all the upgrades available to this character yet, though, so we could get some new stuff that could lead to some wacky situations. Definitely down for seeing what's on offer. Hopefully we get like a black or red chest to get some uh, higher quality things offered to us. We get the Calanthe ring right off the bat. Unfortunately, not a big fan of that item. It's fine. Like, boosts our roll. Really not a fan of things that change my roll distance or speed, but I'm not going to not take it because I feel like I have to. <clears throat> Anyways, let's look for our second chest. Got a boss straight away. Nice that, like, one, exactly one burst kills a basic enemy. But yeah, increasing our damage output is going to be pretty lovely as well with this, I think. Lovely. Right, shop first. We got ourselves Crown of Love. I'm not quite sure what that is. Ooh. Confidence Driver. Forces bosses to always drop an item. 
Destroyed when removed as modular. Um, can be bought at any point from Bella, but once purchased, cannot be bought again for the rest of the run. Hmm, kind of interesting. So, my, my assumption with this would be, once I've maxed out my power, then I buy that so that I get more items. That's kind of cool, I like that. That's a good idea, that's a, that's a new update to this character I haven't seen yet, and definitely appreciate it, it's pretty cool. Give me that, give me that, and scrap that junk. And then, let's have a look-see. How much do we need? We need eight. Okay, we're a little bit off of that at the moment. How do we escape from this again? I can never remember how to undo that. Right, and we get a decent quality chest here. Um, let's have a little look-see. Reload creates a line of fire. I'm not so interested in that. Uh, projectile starts slow but accelerate. That's decent. Increased damage. That's a lot of increased damage. Half the rate of fire but increased ac accuracy. Projectiles will stick to terrain and enemies and create an aura that hurts and burns them. We've also got deal an additional 50% uh, more damage to enemies for each debuff, um, buff or debuff they have. I kind of like the idea of going with this. Let's, let's try that out. Let's try that out. Cool. Let's see if that does as well. And we got Bello here. Um, I kind of would like to buy that, so I'll come back and if I, if I get enough money, I'll buy that. But yeah, so my my presumption was correct. My my shots still fire at the same speed. It's just the delay between bursts that's increased, which is what I expected it to do. It, it is very slow right now. I will admit. Oh god, wait. It doesn't do any damage over time to bosses. Okay, this was an awful decision. I thought the shots would do damage over time to the boss while they're stuck in the boss. They do not. So this is... I, I'm guessing it's because he's flying, so it deals no burn damage. But I expect it to be some damage as well as the burn damage. This is... this is bad. <laughs> oh, no, there you go. It's doing some damage now. Weird, why wasn't it doing damage before? Intriguing. It seems to be like maybe when they fade away, they deal damage. It's not actually as terrible as I thought. This is still pretty slow, though. But I reckon for basic enemies, this should be pretty decent. But yeah, the half rate of fire is, is pretty abysmal. The the burst delay it's added is uh, very hefty. Blank that. Paired with the long reload, we are not doing too hot on firing shots at enemies, I'll, I'll admit. This is taking quite a bit of time. But we'll get through it. It does seem that the lag has pretty much subsided now, so maybe it was just because I just booted the game. Seems fine now. Should be pretty good on regular enemies and enemies that don't fly, but right now that isn't amazing. Good. Um, spawn tables when killed and chance to spawn a table upon reload. Projectiles are now pierced tables. 25% in the speed boost for tables that he pierced. Okay. Deal damage to nearby enemies. Increase damage and bullet scale. But reduce player's bullet speed. Adds one piercing. Um, I don't know how that would work with the sticky shots. I think I'm just going to go for the extra damage to nearby enemies. First of all, we can go for an upgrade. Oh, no, not quite. Uh, cool. There's our radius as well. Nice. We didn't quite get enough for Pea Shooter. I think it was 28. Yeah, it was, unfortunately. Uh, could look for Secret Room, I guess. Oh, we've got some scrap in here. Nice. I don't know how I missed that. Wait, what? Okay, maybe I missed it because it's not actually in here. What the hell? No, it's not revealing itself to me. Strange. Anyways, down to the next floor, I guess. It is what it is.
it is what it is. But yeah, so far, our, our upgrades aren't particularly transformative. Um, I, I like the sticky shots, I think they could be pretty good. But I think without some serious fire rate increases or like reload increases, it's going to be a little bit rough to, to progress through rooms to start with here. But I think with the close range thing we got going on here as well, we should be able to deal some good damage. Yeah, that did good damage right there. Yeah, that damage over time is clearly more influential, although it's still not crazy good. Yeah, okay, that's decent. That's decent. It's kind of like having the hot lead. We're still dealing good damage to enemies that aren't, uh, that aren't in the radius. We'll try and get them in there when we can. Oh, dude, the fire it. The punishment is too heavy for the, the benefit that I've gained. It's far too heavy. Good, good, good. Extra scrap. Right, now we can do this. Why well, still... I thought I had seven. Bollocks. Mini boss here. Don't know how the miniboss will fare. I'm going to wait for the miniboss if I can, though. I'd rather get some new items first. But yeah, the good thing is with this character, you can just deactivate modules that don't work for you, which I, I really like and appreciate. But I'm not going to do that yet, because I'm, I'm sort of intrigued in how this setup could progress. And I'm not going to turn it off. I suppose I could turn it off and re-enable it later, but I'm not going to do that. Um, Hippo Gun is pretty good. That's a... Uh, B quality, I think. Or C. I think it's C, actually. Uh, so we might buy that just to get another upgrade going. Speed things up a little bit, so to say. It's kind of nice that you, it's like set and forget it. You can add a bear some to enemies and then move along with your life. Don't know what I was doing there, but I just kind of stood there and took it. I keep accidentally reloading and realizing my reload is super goddamn long. Ooh, hello. That's very good. <laughs> That's a really, really strong item. i uh, kind of glad it was an item rather than a thingy. But yeah, this is auto-aim. Which is quite good with sticky. Basically, we just run about, fire, and it'll always hit. God damn, yeah, the damage you get out of this for the fire rate down. Don't think it's a great trade-off. Right, what we got going on here? 100% more damage to enemies above 90% HP. All enemies take an additional 25% extra damage from various effects. Massively boosts clip size and fire rate, but reduce, reduced and gives uh, damage virtually uncontrollable spread. That seems really good for us. I'm not even going to look what the other things are, because spread literally does nothing for us. Spread literally makes zero difference to us. Because we've got elite shot. So that's a... Yeah, so you see what I mean? The spread is actually absolutely, absolutely terrible. But it doesn't matter. Also, fire rate increase, not great. <laughs> we've got the bullet banker here. But you can see with elite bullets... It don't matter. Yeah, unfortunately, our boss killing potential with this setup is really, really poor. I would have thought the stuck in bullets would do some damage to bosses, and they don't. <laughs> Good thing is the hugely increased clip size helps a lot with our reload speed problems. I'm trying to get that damage bonus, but staying close to him is a little risky. I love the music in this fight. The mini bosses. It's cool. Right, there you go. Taken care of. It's a lot of ammo to um, to shred.
Good, good. And then we can actually use this now uh, to do ourselves a power upgrade finally. Good, good. Oh, the explosives. Oh, oh. Oh my god, that was so scary. Good, good, good. We definitely need more of those fire rate increases coming at us. I love Elite Bullets with the setup, it's great. We've cheesed it. We've truly cheesed it. Probably should have just um, shredded that. Yeah, the, the close range damage hasn't been that valuable for us, really. We're not really getting in the radius enough. Right, we'll buy a key. We'll open this up. Have we been to our other chest yet? We have, yeah, yeah. Hope this is a weapon. It is. Hazard, right. Greatly reduces fire rate, clip size, and increases reload time. Projectiles ignite the air around them and travel at very high speeds, hitting with massive force. Unfortunately, I can't take a fire rate down as much as that is a quality three, and I like the idea. Reduce damage by 20%, projectiles split into two weaker projectiles that inherit all vex. I kind of like that idea. Decreases accuracy slightly and increased rate of fire. Projectiles are slow to a crawl after a moment. Okay, that's the bullet. The bubble bullets. 100% more damage to enemies with nightmare. Let's try the split shot, the flak shot. I think that could be really good. Cool. Just I'm thinking like more things stuck in the enemy seems positive. Um, do we buy another key or do we buy the hippo gun? I think I'm buying the hippo gun. Enter a new floor restores armor. That's really good. Scrapping items restores armor is also really good. Adds one piercing. No, thank you. Uh, projectiles now fire out a short lane down. Ooh, yes, that seems good. Yeah, let's take that. I think that's our power maxed out now, though. Yeah, it is. But this is some good stuff. Okay. For one, my bullets no longer stick into enemies, which is very upsetting. I think that's to do with flak shots. I think flak shots has ruined things a bit. We're getting through this guy reasonably quick though. Unfortunately hitting his child is not so easy. We got it in the end. Okay, good. Child, you are dead. Too many missiles, my guy. Too many missiles. Okay. Come on. Die so I can change over the flak bullets. I'm going to have to get rid of the flak bullets because they just haven't worked. How I wanted. Basically, what I was hoping would happen is more shots would stick into the enemies because of the flak bullets, but instead, the flak bullets do not inherit that effect, so it just doesn't work. Which is a shame, but kind of understandable. I understand how flak bullets work, it makes sense. What we got going on here? Flak shot, dirt. Think so. Increase accuracy. Projectiles now leave sticky bombs on enemies. Um. Right. Let's uh, quickly do this. Right. Let's take off black. Um. And I guess we can add this on. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. 
So what, what have we got on now? We do have the laser lance. Nice. Okay, I, I was just making sure we had that enabled. Right, down we go. I'm hoping that the sticky shot plus the laser lance could create basically a shot that constantly deals damage. Because it'll stick the laser into the enemy and the laser will constantly deal damage. That's my hope. It might be that the flex shot wasn't actually the thing that was stopping us and it was actually the lasers that were stopping us from sticking our shots because that would be a very powerful combo. But I'm hoping there isn't too much gatekeeping on the types of combos you're able to create. It'd be kind of a shame if this laser lance thing didn't work. But I, I'd also kind of understand it because a two item combo that's reasonably achievable in most runs would be quite quite strong. But still, I want it to work. Oh, no, it works. Good. It works. So it doesn't quite work as good as, as I was hoping. The laser is stuck a little bit away from the enemy rather than directly in it, so it's not dealing constant damage. But I think for bosses, it should work the way I want it to. Also, our fire rate is basically back to normal now. Yeah, I like this. Also, our shots bounce as well. Intriguing. Good, good, good. Yeah, we have a very powerful setup here. My bad on that one there. Yeah, I was hoping those lasers would be stuck more into the enemy. Take a key. Keep it moving. Ooh, we got a curse door. Do we have any curse? We don't have any curse right now. Kind of annoying because I just spent all my money. See if there's any way for us to gain cast this floor. Rare that we get one of those. Unfortunately, it's a time where it's not super valuable to us. Projectile start slow but accelerate. Um, ooh, 50 casings, one key, two blanks on pickup. Enemies have a 10% chance of dropping an additional casing when killed. It's pretty goddamn good. Um, I think I'm going to take that for the instant pickup of money, but also for the extra money potential if we take off. Let's just take off the. Well, how much? How much energy does this cost? How many more scrap do we need? Oh, we're quite we're quite far off our scrap goals right now. So, um, we only need one. What's on controllable blast again? Okay, let's let's get rid of that for now because we're not really using that too much. We'll put that on for the extra casing chance. That means we can hope we can get up to 100 casings before the end of this floor. Not super super likely, but worth a gamble, worth a try. But yeah, I mainly picked it up just for the 50 initial and the one key. The one key is pretty useful. Move in. Little freaks. Extra scrap, gotta love it. Up to 63. I'm really hoping there's just a curse pot somewhere and we can gain ourselves one curse. But yeah, you can go you can enter those here, either have oh, was that a cursed enemy then that I just killed? I think it was. Enter those of you got a hundred money or one curse. Yeah, that was my bad. I think I killed an enemy that was had a cursed trail there. This guy's cursed, right? Oh no, he's just jammed. Sadly, that does not help us. Oh, this does though. Yes, I did it. I got my curse. Curse is more readily available when playing on there. Uh, 
What's it called? Um, a robber osmod. Why can't I shoot? Okay, there you go. For some reason I couldn't shoot for a minute there. But I can't shoot again. Why is my fire rate really slow now? My fire rate's really slow again. Wait, I turned off the wrong thing, I think. Because I've still got my radius around me, right? Yeah, okay, my bad. Um... There you go. My bad. Wait, is my clip size even bigger than before? Wait, one second, one second. Okay, there you go. That's better. Don't know how I managed to do that. Fire, it's back to being good now. Right. Just about ready to go into the shop. Good, good, good. We're going to make it to 100 as well, so we didn't even need the curse. Wow. Thanks, game. Right, let's see what's on offer in here. The spiral gun. Sanctified oil is rather intriguing. I feel like that's probably a, a good thing to take. And then Ring of Chess Friendship's decent. Ballot's pretty good. The Wonder Chest's pretty good. These are all key costs though. I guess I'll take one of these. Uh, gold, frailty, and uranium. Um, inflicts frailty. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy the frailty one. We don't have enough to play this now, which is a shame, but eh, whatever. Right, so let's see how this is with Sanctified Oil then, shall we? Pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's a lot of lasers. Like I said, it's slightly sad that they don't properly stick into the boss, like the lasers. But... Doing some good stuff. Doing some good stuff. Oh, really? I wasn't paying attention at all, then walked right into that missile. That was stupid. That was incredibly foolish. None of these are really that good for me. Anyhow, let's carry on. I think we've got a pretty good setup now. I think Sanctified Oil has uh, put us in a very good spot here. I told you I wanted to stick with this setup to see what could happen. All I needed was a lot of fire rate, and now I no longer have to reload either. Or... Or at least my reloads are like instant speed. I can't remember exactly how that works. I think it's just instant speed reloads. But overall, this is pretty spicy. Oh, hello. Hex woman. Walked right into that one. For 
energy there. With elite bullets, this is pretty nuts. Walk in, spin to win. Who needs to play the game? Who needs to play the game? Easy. Spin to win, baby. Spin to win. <laughs> oh god, elite bullets plus sanctified is pretty insane. Good, good, good. Don't think we need to worry about item rooms or anything anymore. Don't know why I decided to actually play through this phase. I don't normally do that. And my shots aren't sticking to these guys either, which is lowering my DPS on these guys significantly. I'm not quite sure why they aren't sticking. Oh, for f I am taking ridiculous damage at the moment. Way too much damage. Needed that uh, flawless, really. Being up, um, in proximity of projectiles and enemies increases risk, which increases both rate of fire and damage. Building up enough risk allows you to negate one instance of damage. Th this was really good before. Yeah, let's take that, and then let's see how we can fit that in. Like, how much does that cost? It only costs one? Oh no, it costs two energy, I see. Um, what does this do again? Rate of fire and clip size, neither of those matter. Cool. Right, next floor. Who cares about chests and item rooms when you've got this combo? I certainly don't. <laughs> it don't matter to me. But yeah, this risk thing could be pretty good because it's that, 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 that whole idea of increasing damage is nice, but then negating one hit after a certain amount of risk, that's where the real truth lies in uh, the power. Because, yeah. It's just going to be super nice to be able to negate a hit every now and again. And I'm pretty sure I had it last time, and it, like, it allows you to negate, like, a lot of hits. Oh, dude! How did you not die? I thought that guy would have died a bit quicker than that. That was a little bit annoying. Oh my god, just walk into more shots, why don't you fucking melon? Oh my god, I'm gonna actually die on this run because I can't goddamn see anything. Ah, oh, really? For it shrine, can't even use it. Really? There's... There's absolutely no armor in here. 
rather upsetting. Yeah. Extra key, thank you, I guess. Close. And I get it a hit there. My risk saved me. Oh, hammer's coming in. I love the noise this gun makes with this much fire rate. We are a laser beam. Extra key, thank you. Didn't really need a, an extra weapon here. Guess I can add that on. Oh, it literally mean I fire an extra bullet with every bullet I fire. That's kind of crazy if it is. Seems like it. Should try and find my item chest just in case it's good. Just about rolled in time there. Wasn't sure that I would. Wasn't convinced that would work, but I got through it. That is... Stamina up. That's just a lot of extra speed. Okay, probably going to die here, but we'll see. That's a lot of extra speed. Holy hell. God, man, look at the graphics, like, of all those things melding together. That's kind of horrific. The damage over time on bosses... Just in it, the sticking of into boss, like sticking shots into bosses, just does nothing. It's really unfortunate that it has like no damage against bosses whatsoever. I thought at least the lasers would be really, really good, but that doesn't seem to do anything either. Ah, bugger. My risk didn't pop. I thought I would have had a risk thing there. Anyways, we died. That run was really good and I ruined it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one.